my uh, topic will be uh, art uh, from the beginning from time to time so uh, i will start from uh, uh, plato and aristotle uh, according to them the definition of art was different okay uh, that was uh, imitation it was completely different that was imitation and uh, imitation was the main topic for their uh, art and uh, it was uh, basically based on seeing and doing it was seeing and doing it was not uh, feeling and doing so till 18th century we followed the same concept and after that in 18th century at the end of 18th century there was a great change and uh, vincent van gogh was a, a very famous painter at the time he brought that change and uh, edward munch also was an artist they both uh, had uh, brought a change in in painting and they said it was not uh, seeing and doing it was feeling and doing so it was inside out so uh, after that uh, uh, there was a, a greek philosopher whose name was uh, uh, benedetto cross according to him also he said uh, art is intuition so uh, after that i'll come to rabindranath tagore the concept of art and in the meantime uh, leo tolstoy was also a great philosopher he also said that uh, art uh, is not just a pleasure or amusement it is uh, it is an organ of human life so this was his concept of art so the definition of art is changing from uh, time to time and uh, yesterday also we had a, a talk and uh, sir said that uh, it is not uh, art is not static uh, it is uh, it, it must go on it must move on uh, so this is the way i'll just explain uh, the definition of art from time to time and what we are doing now what we have given the definition of art this is what uh, i am going to uh, present uh, on my presentation i think uh, we need to uh, change our mindset that is very important why i am saying this because uh, there are many people who think that art basically is for uh, some uh, limited people you no know, uh, like uh, art is not for doctors art is not for uh, engineers art is not for business people as art is not uh, for ordinary people art is uh, for people who are special in uh, in sculpture in in painting in music in in dance in singing so there are many people they have this concept but uh, which is not correct even uh, the father of uh, creativity uh, his name was uh, e paul thorens he said uh, creativity can be taught it can be developed creativity can be uh, changed so uh, so that means we all have culture we all have this uh, inborn talent and we need to just develop it so uh, this cultural study is so important i think for people we need to uh, train them we need to teach them also we need to uh, forcefully we need to tell that everybody is an artist everybody has some creative uh, ability and potential uh, 